Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306. I'm making a bit of an impromptu video here. Uh, pardon the noise, my 3D printer is currently running right now. Uh, but anyway, notwithstanding, uh, let's get to the main topic of this uh, this video. Um, I'm gonna do sort of, I guess, a mailbox unboxing, mailbag, whatever, uh, video. And I just got a package from eBay. Apparently my mailman accidentally delivered it to uh, our neighbors. So I had expected this Saturday, but it came today. So I'm just happy I got it. Anyway, this ought to be interesting to uh, those of you that are retro video game, uh, you know, inclined, so to speak. And here it is. So uh, I ended up getting this guy, I, I believe it was an auction and the starting bid was seven or eight dollars, something like that, either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. And I put in a bid, and lo and behold, no one bid on it. So I ended up getting this for the uh, starting bid price. And this is uh, Mario's Cement Factory here. And I have reason to believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is uh, either European or something like that. Um, it's not from the U.S. region uh, because, well, it has the CE marking. Um, I know that they did release these in the U.S., but I don't know. I, I mean, I've seen them in stores, like, when I was a kid, like, maybe 15, 20 years ago. Uh, but obviously not anymore. Anyway, this is a brand new unopened, and, uh, yeah. It's, uh, modeled after a Game & Watch game, um, of the same name. And, yeah, you can see here, it's a very simplistic game. This is just a little keychain sort of thing uh, with a alarm and a clock, as evidenced by all this. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we can just look through here. Um, yeah, pretty much every language but English. Anyway, um, I'm actually tempted to see if I can very carefully open this, um, but I want to keep the packaging, you know, at least reasonably nice, even though, actually, now that I look at it, it's chipped. So probably doesn't matter all that much. I might just cut open one side of it, but I'll keep all the packaging so it'll look nice on the shelf. But uh, let me get this guy open then, I guess, and uh, we can see if uh, if it works. It should, brand new, so hopefully. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so all I had to do was, um, there's already a little, you know, there's a, a break in the corner, so I just took a uh, very sharp uh, razor blade and I carefully cut all along the side here. So right now this is openable, but you know, from the front it still looks nice. And here it is. And there's a little pull tab, so I'm gonna be pulling this. I'm not sure how old this is. Um, I couldn't really see a, uh, there's a code here, like a serial number, but I don't know if that's a date code. Uh, so I'm assuming this is from probably late 90s, early 2000s. So it, for the first time in probably like 10, 15 years, something like that, I'll be pulling this tab, so let's see. Aha, the batteries still work, nice. So yeah, you can see all the segments lit up. And um, let's see if I can start a game. Yes, I can. And I immediately die, great. <laughs> I'm great at this game, wow. Okay, so let's uh, play a quick game and see. Uh, I believe the objective is to make sure that um, these vats don't get filled up. And here comes one now. So very simplistic gameplay. Ah, so it's basically just a matter of waiting, timing, and then as it speeds up, it gets harder and harder to get where you need to be to uh, dump the uh, cement, <laughs> and apparently you can't fall, uh, you'll die. So anyway, yeah, all in all, um, this works pretty well, actually, the speaker is actually pretty loud. Um, there is a few screws on the back, I wasn't going to turn this into a teardown, but I think we kind of have to now, so let me just uh, grab a screwdriver, get this set up. So I believe these take coin cell batteries. I'm not sure how old these are. Hopefully they're not like uh, about to leak or anything like that. Okay. So, oh wow. <laughs> so that's not even really attached. It's just sort of hinged on there. So yeah, um, 
two coin cells, much like the uh, the original Game & Watches used uh, these two types. Um, similar ones. These yeah, LR44s. So there we go. So it uh, runs off three volts pretty much. Uh, it looks like there's a reset hole there, but it's not labeled. I don't think I've ever seen a teardown of one of these. Um, I tend not to see videos on these actually pretty much at all. <laughs> um, sort of not really as collectible as the Game & Watches. And even videos on Game & Watches tend to be pretty rare, I've noticed. Um, if you guys are interested, I've done uh, two repair videos on uh, a Gold Series Octopus and a uh, Donald & Mickey um, dual screen Game & Watch. So you can uh, just search my channel for those. Um, interesting, this is like really shoddy compared to like uh, their actual consoles that have uh, nice labels and whatnot. This is sort of stuck on there haphazardly. Uh, but let's uh, lift the skirt on this guy. Of course the chain's gonna come off. And make sure I don't lose the uh, reset button. Yeah, that is reset. It is marked on the inside, oddly, not the outside. And yeah, it's just a uh, simple little piezo speaker in there. And uh, that's what where all the sounds come from. Looks like they uh, melted the plastic to, you know, keep these um, metal brackets in there, which is kind of not a great way of doing it. And we just have two wires for batteries, two to the speaker, and then just a uh, chip on board. Uh, it's essentially a, an epoxy blob. The chip is just uh, glued on, and then they use very thin... Uh, gold wires to bond over to pads on the circuit board and this is a lot cheaper than using a separate chip There's the crystal for it as well as a whole slew of resistors and capacitors probably for um, um, Just support circuitry for the main chip and one main DC uh, filter cap in there uh, other than that I could take off the top side, but there's going to be absolutely nothing but traces, pretty much. Uh, you can see most of the wires on this chip actually go to uh, the other side. You can see a little pink uh, strip of like rubber on that side, and that's the uh, zebra connector that'll connect um, the contacts on the other side of this green board over to the LCD glass. And that's a very common uh, construction technique on like very cheap electronics. Um, and yeah, there's really not going to be anything on the other side, and I don't want to risk, you know, getting my fingerprints or dirt or dust all under this nice uh, clean LCD. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in there, uh, which is not much at all. I will tell you what though, uh, getting this stupid screw in for the battery, basically they have a uh, metal, like a nut, uh, that this threads into and it's uh, melted into the plastic of the body. Uh, but the, the tapping of that wasn't so great, so getting this screw to actually screw in was kind of difficult. Uh, so yeah, this is sort of, you can tell this was, um, I guess it was made by a uh, German company, a different company, but it was uh, licensed from Nintendo. I've seen versions of this where it actually has like the Nintendo branding uh, on here, so maybe this is a cheaper version or a later version, something like that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you can see it It at least works and it'll be nice to have something uh, just to sit on my desk with a little kickstand here, just to see what time it is and whatnot, and it's really cute and um, it is fun, I just gotta practice playing uh, the games unfortunately. <laughs> I'm uh, not the best at these um, older games, but yeah, you can see everything works. You can apparently get crushed too. Wow, did not know that. I wonder if you can, uh, if you go too low, do you get like crushed from falling down or something? Oh, you just fall to your death. Oh wow, this is a very grim game. Yeah, you can see everything works, though, and uh, a very cute game. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I hadn't seen anyone do a teardown of these guys or even a, an unboxing or an opening, so I thought you'd enjoy this. Um, yeah, so hopefully if, um, hopefully I can get some more of these uh, just to sort of uh, collect them because they don't seem that expensive. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.